Hi there, I'm going to be comparing the PS2 keyboard to the USB keyboard and trying to help you figure out which one's actually better. But first, I'm Steve, this is TQA Weekly, welcome! And let's start off with the USB keyboard. And the first thing cool about USB keyboards is RGB. Why? Because you can personalize the keyboard to your heart's content. And that is something you can't do with a PS2 keyboard, duh. The second thing that's cool is macros. Keyboards that are connected by USB have access to macros that can be set up in software. Sure, a PS2 keyboard could probably be set up in a way that allows for macro recording on the keyboard, but it's always better with software. The third thing is that USB keyboards can also have every single key in many cases set up as a macro, meaning that if you need to set up a lot of macros, you can hook up more than one keyboard to your computer, provided it's USB, and have it as a macro keyboard. That's really cool. The fourth thing is related to end key rollover, which I believe goes up to about nine. And that means you can press up to nine buttons and have all of them actuate in software in your computer without any issue, meaning that basically your macros and your shortcuts can be a lot longer than just three switches. Although for many reasons, they always limit it to three. However, let's start talking about PS2 keyboards for a minute. Remember how I just told you that N key rollover can basically go up to nine on the USB keyboard and that's pretty cool? Well, guess what? How about an every key N key rollover on a PS2 connector keyboard? And I'm talking about real PS2, not USB to PS2. That's right, PS2 keyboards can actuate every single switch and it all work. Take that, USB. The second reason why a PS2 keyboard is better than USB is there's basically no conflicts in software. There's nothing about a PS2 keyboard that will cause issues from a typing standpoint, meaning you can type as fast as you want and you are guaranteed to get the switches you're typing to work correctly. The third feature of a PS2 keyboard that's great is it's low, lower power requirement and better compatibility. A basic keyboard with a PS2 connector is usually a lot more compatible with other software and for that reason many mainboards still give you a PS2 connector on them for a crazy reason. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that you're basically guaranteed that it's going to work. Now a fourth neat detail about PS2 keyboards, you know, the real one, especially like the old ones, is they last longer. Yes, last longer. They are better built. Therefore, they're going to stay around for a really long time. So if you have a really nice PS2 keyboard that you want to continue using, chances are it will last a really long time and you'll be able to use it for a really long time. And that is really neat. Also, because of the way that it works, you don't basically need to deal with any drivers or whatever. The basic driver in Windows is sufficient, which is the fifth reason why PS2 keyboards are better than USB keyboards. Drivers. You don't need any special drivers. A USB keyboard, for the most part, that is very basic won't really need drivers. However, the second you have a gaming keyboard, you need drivers. You need specialized drivers. And if these specialized drivers fail in any way whatsoever, you are screwed. So, which keyboard is better? Obviously, if you need macros and personalization and all that kind of cool stuff, USB might be better for you. But the better keyboard from a typing standpoint will always be a PS2 keyboard because of unlimited and key rollover as well as better compatibility with the computer and it's just going to last a lot longer. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share it with those who think you benefit from this and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com where you can see such things as the show notes to this episode, past others, find other ways to subscribing, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly as well. And if you want to see me play video games, I do play on Twitch at twitch.tv slash zaxis1981.
Thank you for watching and goodbye.